Hi everyone, this is going to be a reading for all signs. We're going to have a look, see what's going to come through. It's like a free roam reading. It could take us in any direction. I noticed that so many of you love this style of reading and I was thinking of maybe posting one every day or every two days, depending on my schedule. Because as many of you know, I offer private readings as well. So they do take up quite a bit of time. I do the channel readings and also I make the intention manifesting items on my website, which of course thousands of you have sent results with, which is amazing. So I still continue to do that, of course. By the way, if you are interested in those things, everything is linked down below. Um, on my website, there are bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards, which you can put under your pillow, your wallet, or your purse, which are hand embroidered, as you can see. They're also meditated with and sage. So of course, you know, that takes a bit of time as well. So yeah, I try to do these readings as and when and how I can. And also recently we have got candles. Yeah. For lots of different intentions. So if you're interested, definitely do check them out. The love one is almost sold out though, so I just thought I'd mention that. I didn't bring that one to show you just because it is almost sold out. So, um, you know, we've got the protection and evil eye one, we've got the reconciliation one. There's so many different ones, even for like career, success, wealth. By the way, these are safety tested and they are also completely natural, um, natural scented. They are plant-based. They are, they're really special, <laughs> handmade, hand-poured made in small batches, and even though they're very small, they actually last for a really, really long time, which is amazing. All right, so we're gonna start with this reading, see where we go. As I mentioned, everything's linked down below. I also do the free reading giveaway as well. If anyone is interested in winning a free reading, check out the description box below. Okay, let's have a look and see where we are going. Oh, okay. Where are we going? We've got the Hierophant and Judgment. Oh, wow. You know, the message here is very interesting. I feel like a lot of you just want stability, but you almost feel like things are just really tough in regards to stability because you feel like you're just being judged based of all your actions. Some of you are even thinking like, okay, you know, are some of my karmas just making it so difficult for me to get to where I need to be? That's what you're also thinking as well. I just feel here that a lot of you also feel like things are just so difficult for you to achieve and you're just wondering why? Why are these things so hard? Why is it that I see everybody else be successful and have the life that they want and it's not happening for me? I just feel like this reading is going to help someone for sure. It's really going to help actually many people, I hope, because there's a sense here for sure that your time is coming, all right? Your time is coming just because it hasn't come yet and you may not be achieving the things that you you really want right now does not mean that it's never going to come your way. It will absolutely come your way. It will absolutely progress your way. You will have happiness. You will have joy. You will have fulfillment and all of the things that you want. Your time is not now. Um, but I will tell you the prediction of when your time is, okay? So we'll, we'll get to that, I'm sure. But of course, I did want to mention this reading's totally timeless as well from when you watch it, not when it's posted. So judgment is Pluto energy, right? Pluto energy is about transformation. It's also about um, endings that lead to new beginnings. It's about total change and rebirth. So some of you are going through a huge transformation. Remember, transformations are not easy. They're not really designed to be easy. They're actually quite difficult. They can feel like hell on earth, but actually it's not terrible in the grand scheme of things. So I definitely wanted to mention that as well, is that you are going through a transformation, but actually it's quite positive, I would say, because there's a lot more that is coming into your life. Hierophant shows a lot more stability is still yet to come. The devil here is about attachment. So it is also about releasing attachment as well. Now we know that with the law of attraction, releasing attachment actually allows your manifestations to come to fruition. So for example, if you want to manifest money or love, but you're holding on to it every three seconds, wondering about it, pondering about it, or saying to yourself, the universe is not working with me. The universe hates me. Oh my God, the universe is the worst like it's giving everything to everyone else but me, then you're way too attached, right? So we need to lower that attachment. And when I say lower that attachment, it doesn't mean that you stop thinking about it. It's how you think about it. So taking more time for yourself, doing other things, right? So even if you hate your job and you want a better one, it's about trying to work as hard as you can in your current circumstance and your situation, whilst knowing that what's best for you will come your way but not getting so attached to the point where you're waiting for it and checking your bank account every three seconds or getting triggered over every little thing that, for example, someone else, you know, 
you know, it has what they want and you're just thinking like, how come I haven't got that, you know? So that's the thing is that we want to release attachment in order for things to come to you. The, the best way, the best analogy I can give you is when, for example, people want someone from the past, perhaps, that person usually often comes to them when they have released the attachment towards that person, right? A lot of the times exes come back when people move forward, when they're living their best life, that's how the other person gets so, so triggered to come forward. And that's the thing that I see here is that releasing your attachments allows your manifestations to come to fruition. That's it. That is literally it. You know, same thing with intention items, for example, is that, you know, it's it's really allowing you to have more peace of mind and bring, you know, a lot more peace to you so that your intentions can also come to fruition. We have to clear some energy on our table, right, and release some of that attachment in order for the universe to be able to put something on our plate. If our plate is too, too full, the universe is like, oh, I'll come back later. I'll come back later when the plate's a bit more empty <laughs> to deliver your goodness. So that's very important with the devil because some of you may be holding on to way too much attachment and it can actually be making you suffer right now too. Fool shows new beginnings will come, okay? New beginnings in terms of joy and fulfillment, stability, change. Okay, you're not going to be living the same cycle of pain and suffering and frustration and sadness that you feel like you're living right now. You will have time to celebrate. Three of Cups is a celebration card. All right, so that's another thing to keep in mind is that happiness and joy is coming your way. A reason to celebrate, a reason to feel happy and content and fulfilled is going to happen. Also, you know, these are like events and parties and engagements and proposals and weddings. You can't make this up. Come on now. Come on now. Like this video for the accuracy. <laughs> there you go. Look, you've got presents. You've got a cake there. You've got just so much abundance. You've got a ray of hope. Wow. <laughs> Look at this, right? Beautiful. Beautiful. It's an uplifting energy, okay? Everything that's weighing you down, the tables will turn. And if it's a person that's weighed you down, trust me, the tables will turn. You will find happiness, you will find joy, but it's also allowing yourself to enjoy the fruits that you do have right now. Some of you may think to yourself, I don't have any fruits in my life, but it's it's the very simple things that you have in your life. The more we enjoy those, the more the universe will give us more. We know that gratitude works incredibly well with the law of attraction in the universe. The more we focus on those aspects, the more things come towards us. Us, and I think that's another important thing to know as well. Okay, so let's keep going. That that I have to say, that was that was amazing to see. This happens a lot in my readings where I talk about something and then boom, a card comes out and just um, showcases that message. So yeah, definitely do like the video. That really helps out the video too. Um, so we've got the Ten of Swords. Yep, this is that sort of frustration, especially if you feel like you're being targeted in a work environment. You feel like you're targeted by family. You're being targeted by people all the time. People are committed to misunderstanding you. Trust me when I say, like, you're not going to be the target at some point when you stop allowing yourself to also be the target. Now, some of you might be like, I don't purposely allow myself to be the target. But you know what happens sometimes is that people get attracted to your energy if it's in a certain way, and then they just feel like, oh, easy target, you know, so I think this is also about just knowing that the cycle will end, for sure, we know that with the Pluto energy, and it really happens with change, okay, so there is going to be a change that comes into your life that uplifts you out of this really not so great place that you feel like you're in right now, and into a better place, but remember, we want to let go of some of that attachment, and much more will progress and manifest and come your way which is obviously really positive as well. Let's keep going. Okay. Oh, look at that. We go from the Ten of Swords to the Ten of Pentacles. All right, especially if you felt like there was just this really, really like overwhelming energy here, right? It's gonna change. Like when I say the tables are gonna turn, trust me, they're gonna turn. I, I just feel here that there is so much abundance coming in regards to money and relationships and fulfillment and joy and stability and happiness with family. Like a lot of this is coming and trust me when I say it is coming, it is, it is coming. I, I really believe it. Really, really believe it. Look at this, Emperor. I'm just looking at these cards. They're really beautiful. They're very unique cards. I haven't properly looked at all of them, but they're so, so pretty right? Emperor. Emperor ruled by Aries. You've got Taurus energy, you've got 
um, Aries energy, you've got Capricorn energy, um, Taurus and Uranus is kind of related uh, to one another, you've also got Scorpio here, okay, these signs can make sense, I know some of you like to know signs, so, okay, well, we, we talked about Scorpio, here's Scorpio, death card as well, right, transformation, change, so I feel like many of you are going to exit out of certain cycles, and progress into even better cycles, okay? Ten of Swords to the Ten of Pentacles, right? Judgment, Pluto energy, change, transformation from a freaking caterpillar to a butterfly. This is what is coming your way. It is so beautiful, so progressive, so exciting. I mean, can you guys feel it? Because I feel it coming. Do, do, I feel it coming. Daft Punk, The weekend. Actually, do you know what? As I'm filming this, the weekend is also coming. Not not the singer, but anyways, you get my point. No pun intended. Um, <laughs> anyways, so we've got the strength card. Beautiful. So this change, okay, is a process. I feel like you'll feel just so much more like a butterfly. Approximately... 10 weeks from now, okay? 10 weeks from now, you will see more of a change in your life. That's what I see with these two tens. I see like this energy of cycles and um, we know the Scorpio energy is also really like the 10th month as well. I just feel like there's such a powerful energy here, more so of 10 weeks, okay? So just keep that in mind. Um, and if you don't see it in 10 weeks, you'll see it for sure in 10 months, okay? But you want to release that attachment that you feel um, towards a lot of things that are making you suffer, for example, and you'll find yourself feeling a lot more uplifted as time goes by as well because you'll just find that those things that you're really attached to will start to come to fruition when you're not so attached to it. There's a card that's flipped over. Ooh, Eight of Wands. Look at that. A lot of abundance coming your way, a lot of fulfillment coming your way, a ton of joy coming your way, Ace of Wands, attraction, chemistry, intimacy, interactions, initiations, and conversations. So that's really exciting. Opportunities in regards to work can be coming your way. Remember I mentioned like love, money, and also career slash um, family events seem to be progressive. Seven of Wands as well, right? You're like really getting through things despite any obstacles or challenges. There's a beautiful change, beautiful progressional aspect and element coming your way. It's just so nice to see. Three of Pentacles with the Hanged Man. So you've got here spiritual energy. Stay strong to a spiritual path. I feel like that's going to help you so much in terms of achieving what it is that you want, right? So 20 minutes of meditation, um, doing any kind of, you know, spiritual work or activity or submerging yourself, for example, into divination can be great. Um, and just feeling that Zen energy, whether you like to light candles, whether you like to um, sage, whether you like to listen to spiritual music or podcasts or read spiritual books and magazines, or whether you like to meditate, um, you know, I think that immersing yourself in spiritual energy will help you to feel so much more peace and thus also allow you to raise your vibrational level too. Three of Pentacles is teamwork and collaboration. Like I feel here, people will be so much more open to being progressive towards you, being so much more helpful rather than, you know, bringing you down and things like that. So the Three of Pentacles, stunning. Ah, look at this sun. See that? Okay, so sun is beautiful. This really goes to show that so many good events are coming your way. So much happiness, so much more joy, so much more fulfillment. You know, look at this, right? Literally a caterpillar to a butterfly energy. And it's coming, okay? Don't doubt it. It's absolutely coming your way. It is going to give you so much happiness. You've got the high priestess, again, spiritual nature. Like many of you are going to be learning so many things about yourself. You may be learning again in relation to spirituality. Um, learning in general, you might be studying, for example, continue down that path. The spiritual energy of the high priestess is incredible because the high priestess is so kind and caring and genuine and loving and respectful and is respected. And I feel like you will really feel like the high priestess whether you're male or female, where so much more is coming your way with your intuition and your gut being in line and also you feeling so much happier. Also, can we just also talk about the fact that the High Priestess and the Hierophant are both here as well? Counterparts, literally counterparts. So that indicates love as well. True love I see happening and coming for you. Now, some of you may feel like, oh, wow, this just touches every part of my life. Yeah, it's true. You know, 
I mean, it, it's a very, like, it can feel like a very vague reading, but actually I don't feel like it is. I feel like, you know, this is something that is, is so, is so significant because I feel like somewhere you will feel like this really makes sense to you. So I'm going to post the reading anyways, you know, because I feel like it's going to make sense. But sometimes, you know, things like this can feel very vague, but I feel like it will make sense to you, okay? And you've got the world card. I mean, to talk about the fact that this is the last card that we have pulled, the world card, which is about satisfaction, structure, organization, routine, things coming together, is just incredible, okay? The universe is working with you, not against you. Things are going to come together. Things are going to progress. I mean, just look at these energies. Look at these energies abundance is coming your way, love is coming your way, fulfillment is coming your way, I mean you just honestly won't believe this but here we go, right? So I really hope this reading helped you, of course if you like it then don't forget to like the video um, and subscribe if you haven't already, if you claim it as well, let me know in the comment section below, don't forget to like it, um, but also do um, Check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, and of course, intention items, which are on my website as well. Like I mentioned, candles, crystals, you know, all, all sorts of items, bracelets, intention items, and private paid readings, free reading giveaway. Everything is linked down below and take care, everyone. I also have TikTok and Instagram if you want to follow me on there. I post short readings every single day on there and take care, everyone. Bye.